Analysis of the N-linked sugar chains on glycoproteins starts with the labeling of the glycans in cells with tritiated mannose. The pulse dish is cooled on ice, while the chase dish is incubated with no label for a desired chase period. Next, the samples are lysed, and a glycoprotein of interest is immunopurified, denatured, and its glycans are enzymatically released. The oligosaccharides are further purified by molecular filtration, which separates them from the proteins and other contaminants larger than 30 kilodaltons. The glycans are then separated by HPLC. The amount of each glycan form is determined by measuring the intensity of the radioactive signal in each eluted fraction. Hi, I'm Edward Avezov from the laboratory of uh, Gerardo Lederkrener in the Department of Cell Research and Immunology at Tel Aviv University. I'm Efrat Ron, also from the Gerardo Lederkrener lab. And today we will show you a procedure for isolating and analysis of metabolically labeled and linked oligosaccharides. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the dynamics of sugar chain processing for both total cellular glycoprotein pools and individual glycoproteins. Okay, so now let's get started. To begin this procedure, use NIH 3T3 cells grown overnight in one 90 mm dish for each sample. The culture is subconfluent. To starve the cells for glucose, prepare fresh 2x glucose-free medium supplied with 20% dialyzed FCS and 8 millimolar sodium pyruvate. Dilute one volume of the desired amount of the 2x medium with one volume of deionized water. Pre-warm the medium, then incubate each cell sample in 5 milliliters.